Hi. Hi. Today I'm just going to be showing you how you can track your iPhone, iPhone 3G and iPhone 3GS without the use of mobile me because I know some of you have um, have an iPhone, iPhone 3G, iPhone 3GS and want to track it but do not wish to pay the money for the mobile me account just for the ability to track it when everything else you either don't want or can do with other services okay so first you need to take your iPhone iPhone 3GS iPhone 3G okay and you need to go to the app store and you need to type in the words I N S T A M A double P E R that's Instamapper okay I'll say that again for you Instamapper okay now you will see one on there called GPS tracker okay it's a free app you need to go ahead and run the download for that okay so what you need to do is you need to go ahead and download that like I said and then you need to make sure that app opens because if it doesn't open, then there's no point doing the rest of the steps until you've got it to open. Because I know that some iPhones don't like certain apps, some uh, apps have got problems and whatnot. This one has worked okay for me. Okay. Um, so, you need to... Um, I will just tell you at this point that this service is not for the iPhone... For, uh, sorry, not for the iPhone... iPod Touch. It's, it, it is not... For the iPod Touch. So I keep getting my words mixed up here today. This is not for the iPod Touch, okay? Because your iPod Touch, you will find, does not have GPS. Okay. So, once you've installed that, you then need to go to your computer. Okay. You need to go to this website. Okay. Um, www instamapper.com okay and you need to click on this button here add new user okay I'm just going to turn my webcam off a second here because I've just got to sort something out quickly okay then sorry about that just had a call on Skype to deal with okay once you click that link you'll get uh, you have to enter in what you wish to be your username uh, what you wish to be your password and then confirm it and the same oh crap. oh yeah. sorry um and the same for your email okay sorry just got another thing to deal with i'm sorry about these interruptions but i keep getting calls on skype i'm very popular these days okay then we're back so once you've signed up to that you'll get a page up that looks just give me a second okay i've loaded the page now You'll get a thing up like this, and it'll ask you to click to if you want to add a new device. You need to click add new device, and you'll get a page up like this. Add a new device. And it'll say device label. It'll be a box, and then it'll say E.G. Wife's Volvo. Now, I know what you're thinking, but no, you can't track cars. It's basically if you've left a phone in the car, okay? And then underneath, you'll have units, and you can choose from Imperial. Metric or nautical, nautical. Sorry, I'm going to pick pick imperial. Okay, now that's what you usually leave it as. It will then give you a code. Okay, the code will be something like the little code next to my hand there. Okay, it's called a device key. Okay. So, once you have that device key, okay, you then need to go back to your iPhone or iPod Touch. Okay, yeah, okay, you need to go into GPS tracker and you'll get a little bo screen come up that looks something like this. At the top, you need to enter your device key, then how often you want it to send data. Uh, buffer size 
uh, and then the number you can enter a number and positions it'll automatically say 10 leave it at that units need to put it the same as you did when you signed up on your computer and then you need to set the accuracy the accuracy will be around where my thumb is okay it'll be around the, up here um, and then you need to click save and then you'll get a screen up saying locating uh, elapsed time file and the amount of seconds and then the accuracy and mine says current 9216 feet brackets non GPS needed 600 feet any source so uh, after a while it should change to tracking and sending and transmitting underneath if it doesn't you need to click go back into settings and adjust this accuracy level here okay until when you till you get it up tracking okay and then what you'll find is now is it will now send messages to that account that you've just created okay um now little thing as Apple does not allow background support for third-party apps, like it, uh, it does allow background support for mail, Apple do. So if you ch click check in for mail and go back to your home screen, uh, it will continue. But you can't have background support in GPS tracking. So you'll find that um, if you come out of it, it will stop tracking. So what you have to do is go into it before you and either leave it like that or you can lock your phone while it is doing the tracking and it will stay tracking. Okay? Right? So I'm just going to come out of it because it's not connected. Um, and then you'll find when you next go onto the website, you can... You enter your username and password, so give me a second, I'll just do that. Okay, once you've logged in, you'll automatically get a list of your devices down the side, and it'll automatically go to your last device that you're on. Okay, and it shows you the red dot there. That is where it currently is. Uh, which, um, unfortunately, where I am, I haven't got a very good GPS signal, so I've had to set mine to hardly very accurate, because... I'm wide, I'm around up here, so obviously it's slightly out. Um, but the yellow dot is your last destination, and every yellow dot are destinations that you've been, and the lines are where you've moved. Okay, so if I just zoom out, right, you can see that while it was calibrating, go it put me up here. And then it realised that I was down here, but it's still got the line. And if I zoom back in again, you can see I went to that yellow dot there, and then I moved up to this red dot. Um, so it's not very accurate if your GPS signal's weak, but it is very, very accurate when you've got a good GPS signal. When you're first setting it up, and it, it does sometimes make a couple of mistakes the first couple of times you launch the app, like as you can see it put me right up there when I was actually where I am now okay but it is a good app um, like I said it doesn't work with the iPod touch uh, and you can use this on different set of you can use it on quite a lot of um, different devices you can use it on I'll very quickly give you this list iPhones, Android, Blackberry and Motorola Iden phones okay right um please p comment subscribe wait um please check out my website www.iphonetec.tk i'll have a link to it there bye